I'm not a big Pac fan. I'm sorry, everyone. Like, I'm, I try. I, I, I do. Look, look, look. I hear a few songs. I like them. I think they're pretty good. But I was never like, oh my God. Like, you know, I got to study this first. Oh, I want to study this first. Like, oh, he rhymed this with this. Oh, he. And I'll say this, man. Like, we talking, and like, I don't know. I felt like, you know, and we, we talk about, like, this energy stuff, you know. DMX is better, bro. Like, Busta Rhymes. Like, M even Eminem, Biggie. Uh, uh, people say, oh, yeah, he has the best catalog. How? How is my question? Because it's like, I, I don't really rock with the BZ puts, you know, they're kind of like, you know, budget, um, you know, he's, he's actually from New York. And then he tries to be from Cal like RP to Pac, but that's whack. That's, that's whack to me. Could, could he get you with that emotional? Yeah, 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 that's cool. But I... I don't really care. I mean, I could I sing along to the choruses? Not really. For most of them, no, not really. Um, to be honest with you, um, was I was like, oh my god, he gave this word a different meaning. This is what I'm saying. Like, on a technical ability, I think like, uh, guys like, like I think he's like a great stepping stone in the rap in the hip hop genre. But I feel like you know, guys like Method Man. Ghost, Ghostface Kill, heck, you know, even Biggie, uh, Eminem, I feel like, Nas, I feel like these guys, DMX, I feel like they, they, they took it to another level, you know, uh, he's a, he's a decent blueprint, but I'm not sure, uh, I'm constantly just listening to Pac songs, um, and people say he's the best emotion storyteller, which I can get. He is the most famous one, and of course, it's the most famous one gets the most credit. But personally, Ray and Ghost, heck, uh, even XXX uh, um, uh, Kanye, even Eminem, even like their emotional, even Wayne, the song, the emotional songs, it just hit me harder personally. So it's like introspective songs. Uh, I'm not saying he's terrible. I'm saying that I think in terms of technical ability, if, we, if we're putting him like I guess like Big L, Big Pun, Corrupt, Exhibit, Cannabis, Eminem, I don't think he would win that battle. And if we put him against like a guy like Redman. Buster Rhymes, ODB, I think he would lose that battle because he doesn't have that energy. And they would be such a wild card, and I'm not sure he would keep up. Uh, I'm not sure he would I'm I'm not a big Jay fan, but I'm not sure he would win to Jay either because Jay was crazy with the homo homophones. Yeah. Um... Kanye kind of took that because if you listen to a lot of my beautiful digital fantasy, he used a lot of homophones in that, you know, that uh, album. So I'm not even sure, like, DMX, like, you know, I always felt like he had more energy, more passion to it. Like, but well, Pac's got passion, and it's like, R.I.P., he's, you know, I, 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 you know, I guess I gotta respect him, but I'm sorry, guys. He he wasn't a real thug, man. Like, let's be honest. Like, this guy literally was not from, you know, he literally had no gang association. And let's be real. He literally went to ballet in a private school. All I'm saying is, okay, nice philosophy. This, oh. Folks, this rich and folks is poor. And I, I, I get it. That, that nice philosophy, emotional story. Time, I get it. And even that Don Kilimani album was like gritty political pop with uh, very artistic. See that? I think that was his peak personally. I, I don't, I don't personally get why everyone loves all eyes on me because it's like 
You try and go back to that record. The first disc is fucking great. Don't get me wrong. This comes from not even a big pop fan. It's fucking great. Then the second disc, mm, not very good. It's two discs, and then you gotta, you can't just like, uh, you know, just look at like, oh yeah, these are the best songs, and like, oh my god, they're so good, so the whole thing's so good. Eh, I don't know. I, I at least that's the way I see it. Gotta factor it with the lows and the highs, and like how much. Um, is it the best hip hop double album? Maybe, but I'm not really into double albums. I'm being honest with y'all. Uh, strictly for my N I G G A Z only. Like, okay, don't get me wrong. There was like a few good songs. Keep your head up. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like Pac ever wrote like a chorus or a punchline where it was like, wow, per- personally, maybe, you know, maybe that, maybe he did for you, but for me, not really, sorry, I, I think like, you know, um, Pac is, it was, you know, he's a great blueprint, but I feel like some folks took what he was doing even further, and I, I even like some even like a guy like KSR1, Rock Him, Slick Rick. Honestly, I think Slick Rick is a more great story. Though Pac is certainly a more emotional story. Telling story. Storyteller. That's. I mean, again, he wasn't going for creativity. <laughs> yeah, he had like that song about some phone or something. And all that. I mean, I was trash, huh? No, I kill him out. You know, it's the only one where I could like just go back to that one over and over. Uh, by Pac, I only got like one record where I can do that. <laughs> I mean, kind of got like eight away. It's easiest for me personally. Fifty, I got like Power Dollar, I guess, and Get Richard. I try. I you no know, like DMX first three albums. Ooh. Easily, he was. I'm not sh- I never felt like Pac had the best album of the year overall. Per- personally, you know. I even think Biggie had better beat selection, charisma, flow. Yeah, I prefer Ready to Die over any Pac album because it's like, damn. It's like flows. Sick wordplay. Nice energy. Good beats of action, you know. Pox beats in the beginning kind of feel like a $5 store. Uh, York beats. I wasn't really rocking with that. And then All Eyes on Me. I felt like that was just like a record for it to be very party records like Graduation was. I know those are two very popular ones, but let's be real. Where are you going to play that? The best place to put play it is like a party or something. And I'm sorry, I don't think like party records typically have the most substance personally. And personally, if like you if it's a if it's a party record, I'm not, I'm probably going to put it somewhere in the middle of the uh of like the album rankings or something or lower. Cuz like, I don't know, I need something with a little more substance. To put it like very high, personally. I'm being honest with y'all, y'all. Um, Don Kilimati, yeah, like a whole bunch of, you know, producers from I think like you know just unknown producers, making some gritty stuff. And then he was like, uh, I'm hungry, I want to prove myself, you know, I want to prove that I can make um, political, you know, emotional. And I go back to the roots after I do all of that inside me, um, but have more gritty beats, have more uh, interesting punchlines and flows. That's why I really like that, the record, even though I'm not a big Pac fan. 
maybe some folks are gonna don't hate this hate this video. I'm just saying I I was I'm not the biggest fan. I'm not saying he's terrible. I'm not saying he's bad. I'm just saying. I rest in peace. He made you feel a certain way that, that I don't. You know I I feel emotional from some of his songs, but you know he didn't move me uh, in a way that no other rapper dead or alive could. To be honest with you, um, I'm just being honest with you. This video is probably gonna get a lot of hate. Like it, share it, subscribe if you like. I don't really care. Just, just, just my opinion, but you know, I hope I got the point across. Peace out.